based on the date which is what I believe to be the proper way to wear one's uniform. Please keep these things in consideration. I'm not saying everyone should follow this to the letter, so we'll leave it to the discretion of the individual. Holy crap! Did that just come out of his mouth? I think this is the first time he's cared about anyone else's opinions. Well, at least he's trying. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without you, so... How did I do? What did everyone think? Not too shabby. I'm proud of myself for making an effort at the very least. I may have painted a selfish, arrogant portrait of myself to everyone, so I'll have to win back their trust. Here, look at this. One of the guys fessed up about the cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom. It took a lot of persuasion, but he promised me he'll never smoke again. This lighter is proof of that. I earned his trust by showing compassion for others. Just like you taught me. That's why you should be the one to have it. I guess I'll take it. Please do. I've spent my whole life looking down on others. Such baseless bravado. But you taught me an important lesson. Something I'll carry with me forever. I don't think I'll ever be anything like you, though. Odagiri seems embarrassed. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Emperor Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon him the ultimate form of the Emperor within thyself. And Max Temper Social Ring. I wish that, okay. So playing through Baldur's Gate, there's a companion app for Twitch that you can install to show all your stats and all your quests completed and all that junk. I really wish there was something like that for Persona 3 to see what social links you've maxed out. So people can just look. The Odin! The Emperor's social ring has reached its maximum level. You can now fuse Odin, the storm god. Do you remember the story I told you about the TV station's writer? That man. He's my father. I see now that sincerity is important. And I'm proud of myself for understanding that. I also realized what an amazing man my father is. It's about time to go. Say, do you want to stop by somewhere before we head home? Now that I think about it, we've never hung out outside of school before. I walked home with Odagiri, who was in a great mood. Oh, welcome back. You're late. Ryoji-kun was just leaving. He's so tall. Hey there. Chilly out, huh? He's so tall. Maybe I'll go catching a cold. You know, I stop by here pretty often. Weird we never see each other. Well, I'm out of here. See you later. Darn it. Darn it. Was that Ryoji, son? Yeah, he said he was going home. Why was he here? To see Junpei. They've been hanging out a lot ever since the school Ow! trip. Why am I getting bugged, still, sir? The rules state that visitors are Hi! I miss you! Yeah, but Krijo Senpai said it's cool as long as no one stays late. I don't think we have anything to worry about. He is dangerous. Dangerous? Ryoji kun? Come to think of it, he did hit on Mitsuru Senpai the first time he met her. But having him around has really helped cheer you up, Junpei kun. Well, no point in dwelling on the past, right? Won't change a damn thing. That's true. I mean, I hmm? think you were. What's up, Aichan? I'm fine. It's just, I envy you, Junpei. I'm a machine. 
so I don't understand what it feels like to live. Really? But you don't seem that different. In my case, it's more accurate to say that I'm operational as opposed to alive. There are hmm. times when I malfunction, but I can always be repaired. Well, if we were all like you, then we never have to worry about dying. You called me a hoe. We're no longer on missing terms. I'm joking. <laughs> a mountain of homework. Serves me right for slacking. Oh, no use whining. Junpei studying on purpose? I guess hell finally froze over. Well, better call it a night then. The gift of life is not something I should possess. A weapon is much more difficult to operate when it's alive. That said, I believe I understand the concept of loss. Leader, the thought of something happening to you, it makes me... Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> How you doing though, Liberated? How have you been? Stop overanalyzing. Forgive me. I'm just concerned. You are very special to me. I can't explain why. I never want to leave your side. I want to protect you at all costs. To be there for you always. Uh, I apologize for keeping you. You must be tired. So much has happened in so little time. I'll return Doing to quite well. How have you, what have you been up to? Yoji Mochizuki. He is dangerous. What is this unsettling feeling? I am a machine. I can't die. So no one will have to grieve for me. I what? have to do something. Huh? I don't want to see them suffer anymore. Well, huh? Playing one of my favorite games. Have you played Persona 3 Reload Toaster? Yes. Thank you. Help yourself to the snacks as well, if you'd like. Today, I wanted to show my thanks for your hard work, as well as check in to see how you're doing. Ever since you joined us, you've been taking on a lot of responsibility as leader of our group. Have you been running into any trouble? If you have, please don't be afraid to let me know. They are such good game. A little, I guess. I apologize for putting so much pressure on you. I'll do whatever I can to help. I have to say, I am grateful that you agreed to take on the leadership role. And I want you to know that you're doing an excellent job. Akihiko was right about you. Your cup is empty. Let's pour you another. Tea is best. Mitsuru and I enjoyed tea together. It's late. We ended up spending a lot of time They are here. such good games. I think three is now officially the best. Three reload is officially oh, the best entry. The but I'm glad we had the chance to talk today. I'd like to invite you again when the opportunity arises. Then with that, I bid you a good night. Any, any of the games are... Whoa, hello. Hello, it's me. Sorry for calling so late. Now then, about the new arrival from the other day. I'd like to ask that you perform a full autopsy. If we find any distinctive features, we may be able to locate her family. Also... I can't help but think that the Kirijo group is connected to Strega in some way. Considering this, I think it would be disrespectful to sweep her death under the rug. And of course, I'll take full responsibility. What? What did you just say? <laughs> Transmogrified. The body? <sighs> but judging by the post-mortem, we were certain she was... <sighs> All right. I'm sorry, but please keep this strictly confidential until we know more. If there are any other changes... Yes, absolutely. Right then. 
What is going on? I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens for now. Uh oh. That doesn't seem very good. Okay. Save. We are on the first. Huh. It's me up with Ryoji. Um, there are some changes. A lot of it is graphical, but there's a lot of gameplay changes and quality of life stuff that was added. A lot of things that was implemented in 5 got transferred over here, refined, um, voice acted all the way through, new voice cast. Um, it's, there, it isn't just a strict, it is a strict upgrade. There isn't a lot that's changed from the original story-wise, but they did update it, gra uh, they did update it graphically and gameplay-wise. Does that make any sense? They did also add new content, um... Like this right here, this sequence right here, was not in the original. Hey, thanks for coming. They added things, they didn't take anything away. What happened? Well... How do I put this? I suddenly just got this feeling that I'm running out of time, and... I felt like I had to see you. I had to talk to you. Uh-huh. Sorry. I'm not even sure what I wanted to say to you. So, I guess for today, I'd like to say thanks. Thanks? It hasn't been that long since we met, but I feel like I've learned so much by spending time with you. I just really wanted to thank you for that. Basically, yes. I think it was even low. I think it's a 20 year old game at this point. I got to hang out with you and the others. I even got to go on a trip with you. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. A joy Persona 3 came out over 20 years ago. you learn that I guess I wanted you to hear this song when I saw those couples in Kyoto or when I visited you guys at the dorm I realized that's what it really means to build a connection with someone it's that feeling of overcoming something together and keeping each other going both sides need to come to an understanding that's how connections are built right I want you to know that you're important to me. I know I said I wanted us to be friends, but... I actually want to be something more. What about you? Why are you bringing this up? I don't really get it myself, but I... Excuse me? Oh, it's you. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I hope I didn't interrupt. I was just passing through the hall, and I heard someone playing a beautiful song on the piano. So I thought I'd stop by to watch the performance. Who was the one playing? Was it you? Huh? No, not me. Ryoji was just... <gasps> oh, I wanted to ask. It might have just been my imagination, but... I thought I sensed Ryoji-kun's presence in this room. Were you not with him? Hmm? 
That's ominous. That is ominous. That is very ominous. Welcome back. Oh. That is that is incredibly ominous. Like it will be a big harvest. I think that about does it. Shall we head back downstairs? But yes, basically. Full moon. Good morning. I tend to. Do, I intend to do my best to protect everyone, even if that means I. What's up? It's nothing. Please, don't worry about it. I just wanted to share my feelings with you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This sounds like famous last words moments. We need an Empress Arcana. We also need a few some personas. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Regis, will you register it to the compendium? Completed registration. I dwell then. Shall we take a look? This persona, yes? I can make Loki. This power might be too much for you. Mm. This persona is powerful. This person. I think I powerful. might. What do you wish to inherit? Uh. It appears it will receive an immense amount of power. So it begins. God, that's so pretty. Fun fact, his name in the original game was Satan Taise. Satan Taise was a persona, was the main persona of one of the other characters in uh, Persona 5. Does that persona catch your eye? Please take a so you'll be summoning this one. May it be your inner strength. 
Are you finished? We look. Say, um, say, 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 um, say, ten, say, say, um, also known as. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me get him up. Uh, Satan Tainsei Kitian Dansheng, or also known as Sun Wukong, he was supposedly born from a rock. After wrecking havoc, he was punished by Buddha and was eventually saved by a monk named Sansang. Or Tripitaka. Like, there's so many different names. to Mitsuru. Hello. Uh, spend time. Thank you. Interesting. So this... Takoyaki doesn't contain an entire octopus, but only a small portion. <laughs> I want Takoyaki. The entire creature would be far too large for a single person. Actually, you know what? <sighs> Sometimes my own ignorance truly astounds me. Want me? Why not give it a try? I want takoyaki Excuse way me. too much. Um, one piece of takoyaki, please. What? Oh, they're only sold in multiples? How generous. So I'll receive an entire tray for this price. So it's filled with dice octopus. Interesting. Mmm. There's a mild sourness combined with the chewy texture of the seafood. Quite flavorful. Hmm? Are there other ingredients mixed in? In any case, it's quite good. C'est très bon. <laughs> that reminds me. Akihiko once mentioned this place. Hmm. Speaking of Akihiko, don't you think he's been acting differently lately? I can't place my finger on it, but I've known him for quite a long time. It feels like something's changed. Maybe he's just maturing. Are you happy? Of course I'm happy. With all that we've been through, it can be difficult to get over what's happened in the past. But Akihiko is using his experiences to make himself stronger. I'm quite impressed by that. When I look at Akihiko, I can't help but reflect upon my own life. It's the most peculiar feeling. Maybe you're anxious. Anxious? Hmm. You may be right. Maybe a part of me is panicking because I feel like I'm being left behind. <sighs> Sorry, don't mind me. Mitsuru seems to have a lot on her mind. I feel like a relationship has grown. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Sorry to subject you to my thoughtless rambling. Just forget I said anything. I heard nothing. Takoyaki was absolutely delicious. We should eat here again sometime. 
Okay, interesting thing. I don't like takoyaki when it's warm. I love takoyaki when it's cold. So whenever I buy takoyaki, I wait a little bit before I actually eat it. Vegetables I ever see at the store are plain old ordinary ones. You know those fancy veggies only people like Carijo Senpai would eat? If we could grow something like that, we'd make a fortune, don't you think? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> well, if you're already gonna do it. No harm in going above and beyond, right? You're pretty uh, good with your hands. Fair. So what do you say? I can't believe I'm saying that about Junpei. Well, we should probably get to work before we get ahead of ourselves. Uh, this is getting really rough on my back. Yeah, my hands are all caked in dirt. Such a city boy. But for the sake of Junpei's brand name, Luxury Veggies, I gotta keep going. I don't know how I could deal with all this on my own, so let's do this again, okay? Dark Hour! Oh, hello. I've been looking for you. What are you doing here? I kind of just ended up here somehow. It's so strange. The sky and the ground look all weird, and there's no one around. <sighs> Something bad's happening right now. But for some reason, I feel at peace. Have you forgotten? What? This is the dark hour. Ordinary people shouldn't be free to roam about. But you, you've adapted to it somehow. Too well for a human. Uh. I finally understand. That's why I feel this way whenever you are around. You are dangerous. You are my enemy. Your enemy? Enemy. That's right. It was on a night like this, with a full moon. It was... A long time ago. Yes. We've met once before. You and I were enemies. Who... am I? Who are you? I am Igis, the last of the anti-shadow suppression weapons. I was created to destroy shadows. Created to destroy? And you... Your true name is Death. You huh? The shadow I sealed away ten years ago. Shadow?
since I was unable to defeat you, my only option was to seal you away. However, under the circumstances, there was only one suitable vessel. A human boy who had the misfortune of being nearby. Inside of him all this time, and I unwittingly led him to discover my twelve missing pieces. And then, I get it. I understand now. I remember everything. I know exactly who and what I am. Be foolish, I guess. You can't win. I'm even stronger than before. The machine is created to serve a specific purpose. I will destroy you. That is my only reason for existing. It doesn't have to be that way, I guess. Robot can't be scared. Juno, uh, did, did something happen? Yukari, what's the matter? Well, I realize it's a full moon tonight. You did too, huh? Oh God, I'm turning into a workaholic. <sighs> Wait, is something actually going on? We're not certain of anything yet, but we can't find Igus. Where could she have gone? At one point, I was able to sense a persona, but I lost Igus right after that. You sensed a persona? Could it have been Straka? Well, she hasn't detected any of them, but we can't be positive. I've pinpointed her location. The Moonlight Bridge. That sequence was really well done, right, by the way. The I would argue it looks better than the original. I really like the animated sequence. <laughs> Kurumaru! I guess. I'm sorry. I. I. Remember everything. I remember who I am. Who he is. Leader, I know why I wanted to be by your side. I'm sorry. I failed. What happened? I'm sorry. You have no reason to apologize. You? <sighs> Ryoji-kun? Wait, what are you doing here? I guess... I guess it's no longer moving. She appears to have stopped functioning. No! What is going on? It's all my fault. What? You did this? Hold on, Akihiko. He's not showing any signs of aggression. Now tell us, who or what are you? Turns out, I'm not so different from the creatures you call shadows. You're a shadow? I'm more than just an ordinary shadow. I'm the Appraiser, born from the union of the Twelve Arcana. The Appraiser? I remember everything now. The terrifying truth about the shadows, and about me. I can't... It's all so hard to believe. 
You know the truth about the shadows? I do. What? The shadows are here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. As for the appraiser, the maternal the being? Maternal being to it, allowing her to awaken. And the appraiser? That's you? That's right. His maternal being? What is it? She's on a level of her own. No words in our language can describe her. Ten years ago, a man collected hordes of shadows and contained them in a laboratory. That's where I was born. But the unification was interrupted, and I awoke before I was complete. After that, Igis took me down, and I returned the favor. Igis? Is this for real, Ryoji? She knew she couldn't destroy me completely, so out of desperation, she sealed me within a child who just happened to be nearby. That child grew up carrying me inside him, and by some twist of fate, he later made his way back here. He even transferred to your school. A transfer student? You don't mean... That's right. I've lived inside him for a long time. Inside... me? But... how...? And when his persona awakened, the Twelve Shadows did as well. All in order to become one with me. Ryoji, you're the appraiser? And you were inside of him? How the hell do you expect us to just believe all that? That's... all my fault. I'm sorry. But there's more I need to tell you. Ryuji kun It seems he fell unconscious. He's completely worn out. Let's let him rest for now. Igus needs us too. We'll pick up where we left off after that. <laughs> what I've heard was shocking. Ryoji lived in me for ten years, waiting to make contact with the Twelve Shadows. Then, does that mean the boy named Pharos was actually Ryoji all along? So many questions remain unanswered. However, Ryoji is unconscious. We took Ryoji and Igus home, the air surrounding us frigid and somber. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Pretty much. How you doing, Vanitas? He's awake now. Let's meet tonight on the fourth floor. Got it. All right. I'll see you then. Damn you, Ryoji. <sighs> Looks like we're all here. Are you okay, Ryoji kun? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Besides, I have more to tell you guys. Ryoji kun. Then allow me to jump right in. We have many questions that need answers, after all. Yesterday, you said the shadows were here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Tell us more about this. What happens if she returns? The maternal being is called Nyx. Who the hell's Nyx? Nyx is the mother of shadows. In ancient times, she bestowed death upon this world. If she awakens, the world will be swallowed by darkness, and all life will perish. All life? Are you saying everyone will die? No pressure. Would it be more accurate to say that? We'll all surrender the will to live. Wait, are, are you talking about the lost? Everyone seems to have arrived at the same conclusion. Every single human being will become like the lost, leading to the extinction of mankind and the end of the world. 
The fall. But there's still a way to stop it from happening, right? <sighs> what? Don't tell me there's nothing we can do. I'm sorry. Wait, why are you apologizing? Are you saying there's no way to stop it? That's right. You heard the bell. That's when it was all decided. I'm the appraiser. The appraiser of death. The fact that I'm here at all proves the fall is coming. The fall is coming? Everyone's at a loss for words. It's inevitable. The entire human race will become members of the lost. Ryoji's existence confirms the impending extinction of mankind. <laughs> what? When will it happen? I don't think you'll live to see next spring. That's barely any time at all. about Nick Schmicks, am I right? All we gotta do is win and we're golden. And we haven't lost a single fight yet, have we? It's not that simple. Uh, more like it's not possible. When you're up against Nix, power doesn't mean a thing. It's like trying to fight the inevitable, like death or the flow of time. Nix can't be defeated. She... just can't. What? This is bullshit! This is all so sudden. Everyone is visibly distraught. I was born from a collection of shadows. But now, I have a human form. So I can talk with you, laugh with you, cry with you. It's the gift I received for existing within him. And because of that, I can give you a choice. A choice? Nix's arrival is unavoidable now, but you can choose to live in peace until she arrives. You just have to kill me. If the appraiser disappears, all recollection of the Dark Hour would go with me, and that would erase any memories of this hopeless reality. There'd be no way for you to remember anything. When the fall comes, it'll happen in an instant. You won't have to suffer at all. We'll forget everything? I'm saying you can go back to your normal lives. And by doing that, you might buy a little time and delay the fall too. Technically, I'm the same as Nyx, so I can't be killed. But thanks to him, there's a part of me that's become human. So if it's done by his hand, then it may be possible. Yuji kun This is dark. If you don't kill me, everything will stay just as it is. With no hope for salvation, you'll live every day paralyzed by the fear of your impending death. And I don't want to put you through something like that. I don't want to forget. Exactly. I mean, forgetting all this would be like trying to hide from the truth. Is that really such a bad thing? If you don't do this, all that awaits is despair greater than you can possibly imagine. You don't understand the terror of certain death. Don't make your decision without at least thinking about it first. You don't have to decide right now. There's still some time. December 31st, New Year's Eve. You have until then to think about it. After that, I'll dissolve into the blackness of the dark hour and lose my physical form. Yachi. When Nyx arrives, I'm going to disappear anyway. So please, don't worry about me. I'll be back when New Year's Eve rolls around. Hey! Ryoji, wait! Stop 
Junpei-kun! I felt Ryuji-kun's presence vanish just now. There's no point in chasing him. He's gone. <laughs> Ryuji-kun... <sighs> I guess... he'll be back. Ryuji's revelation was all too devastating. The world will soon perish. Mankind's destined for extinction. A difficult decision lies before me. Death is inevitable. The appraiser truly did deliver a death sentence to us all. I don't think I can clear up. I can't think clearly right now. Well, guys, that marks the beginning of the next big story arc and the end of our current stream, unfortunately. Uh, we will be back uh, tomorrow with some more Persona 3 Reload. I need to set some things up for the final story arc of the game. Uh, the, the, this will be the last section of the game. It's 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 known as the fall arc uh, for more reasons than one. Um, yeah, it's 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 rough. It's very rough. But I think this is actually a good spot to end it. I'm sorry. I know we're ending a little earlier um, than intended. So let's find us. Make a contract with Ryoji, with poor Ryoji, and turn him into your persona. Save him from his fate. That's not necessarily how it works, unfortunately. Um, that's that's not necessarily how everything is going to work. Um, he already is. We already have his persona. Him as a persona. It's uh, Thanatos, actually. Thanatos is him, um, but yeah, we're 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 going to um, call the stream here, and we'll be resuming tomorrow at noon Mountain Time. Um, I hope to see you guys then. Let's give our good friend Kira Whale, um, good friend of mine, good friend of the stream. Um, if you could give them some love and appreciation, that would be fantastic. We'll be back with some more Persona 3 Reload tomorrow. Hope to see you guys then. See you guys around. Bye. <laughs>